Ah, Eivor. I have been meaning to mention to you the legacy of Saint George. Is this some sort of ridiculous legend? It is. The story is that the revered saint's legacy, lost for hundreds of years, is divided and hidden across England. Such a great treasure, and yet no one has any idea where even a single piece could be. Until now. For months I have heard whispers that match the stories. And now my scouts have returned with a map. The rivers Seven and X both play a role in George's legend. Very well. That is where we will search. But keep a lookout for hints of other hiding places. Nothing is known for certain. Whether any of it actually exists, I cannot say. Care to go find out? Sounds tempting. I'll go. Good luck. Yeah. <sighs> 
Let the sail out! Hush now. Danes. It's always the damn Danes. Make them pay their guilt for the dead that now litter the fields. Yeah! Show sense, please. What would the Danes gain from the slaughter of poor farmers? Look! There's a filthy Dane now! Why don't we ask? I did not touch your herd. The fools are making this worse. These Saxons fight like mad dogs to protect their own. I cannot blame them. Thank you for staying your hand, stranger. What is your name? Eivor, of the Raven Clan in Mercia. Wolfhilda, abbess of Barking, and inquirer into mysteries. Are we here for the same reason, I wonder? Aye, to look upon devil's work. But why would a Dane from Upriver care what happens to Saxon farmers? If there is a rabid wolf or bear on the prowl, I would see it dead. Blame often falls on my folk for such carnage. Well and good, Eivor of the Raven Clan. Take a look at the maulings, and tell me what manner of rabid beast did these things. I could start with the dead cows. You there! De How can you- Blood is still wet as dew. Where does it lead? I know. The corpse is covered in a strange mold, though the wounds are fresh. Aid me. Be my eyes. to its doom. You are brave ones for getting so close to this awful sight. I saw it, Roria. I did. The night it happened. I saw it all. What did you see? It... What sort of beast leaves glistening mold over freshly killed prey? Yet that woman blamed the Hrothgar and his band of Danes. Were the killer's men? Whoever it was, 
You're mighty enough to get a mauled beast corpse onto a rooftop. But that little girl said the creature was a giant, calling itself Grendel. This may be the work of a band of drunken Danes. I should discuss these clues with Wolfhilda. Wolfhilda, I have learned all I can from the villagers and those dead beasts. And what is your take on the mystery? Still believe a wolf or bear did these things? This is not the work of a woodland creature. The bite marks, the mold, most odd. So you admit this is the devil's work? Or one of your wooden dragons come to life. A few maulings do not make for a devil or a dragon. It must be a man, or a pack of them. A girl mentioned a name. Grendel. No. No mortal hand could rend flesh in such a way. Surely you see that. I have seen the worst the hands of men can do. Deeds bloodier than this. And these men stalk the night, slaying cattle as they go. True. This thing I cannot explain. Three times these attacks have happened. Each time, bite marks, broken bones, and streaks of mold. Something wicked walks in East Anglia. Some other animals were attacked in the woods northeast of here. Let us go. This way, we may find more clues. Should be up there in the trees ahead. Can you smell it? It reeks of death and evil. I know that scent well. Carrion and death. Loki's reek. Did the wolves get a bite of you? No. I'm unhurt. Thank you, Dane. I... misjudged you. No need. But tell me what happened. These beasts came scavenging for fresh meat. I meant, why are you out here with the dead cattle again? I'm... searching for my best milk cow. She's missing. And you found her? No. But I found a Danish axe. It belongs to Rothgar. Leader of the warband. You know for a fact this axe is his? <laughs> yes. He brandishes it about the village, demanding ale. I will speak to this Rothgar and his warband. That woman is certain a nearby band of warriors caused these maulings. We have no other clues. I know the men she means. They're staying at the church near Brisleek Farm. Come, meet them. Their leader, Hrothgar, is a great man for a heathen. He is no cattle killer. You have curious opinions, Wolfhilda. And an uncommonly opened mind. I should say the same of you. Most heathens would point to witchcraft or monsters, but you seek an earthly cause. I have seen many strange things, but the answers are usually close at hand, if only hidden. True. Yet in this case, the Church has tasked me to explain the unexplainable. That, at times, introduces unholy ideas. And your church accepts your unholy ideas? They tolerate it. Lucifer is a deceiver, and God himself works in mysterious ways. So I too must remain open to all possibilities, mundane and otherworldly. Which is why you tolerate a heathen like me. Perhaps. Or perhaps all of us, heathen and Christian, stand within the folds of a greater mystery.
these men are rowdy sorts. Stand back, priestess. This is war work. Have a care, Wolfhilda. The killer may yet linger here. Their leader, Hrothgar. I do not see him among the dead. I shall find him. See, more fresh mold. Same as in the fields, on the cows. The villagers say it is the devil's <laughs> mark. What do you say, Eivor? I say find the mold, and we find our killer. The same marks as before. Bite marks. A mauling. These are not weapon wounds. What manner of demon can fell so many well-armed warriors? <gasps> Eiffel, look up. More blood. Someone crawled into the loft or dragged a body up there. sometimes slept in the loft. Have you looked up there? Show me what light... You are Hrothgar, leader of this warband. I am. A Finnmark raider and proud of it. <laughs> For the little time I have left. I bear ill news. Your warriors have fallen. Who or what did this awful thing? The monster did this thing. It killed us while laughing. Laughing! <laughs> Broke my axe and gouged me. I... <coughs> I crawled up here to die. <coughs> what was it? Did you see? A foul Jotun. A nightgoer from the world's rim. It spoke. Named itself Grendel. Said it would return. <coughs> Good. We shall wait for it to come back. You and I. Not I. My wounds are too great, and my spirit takes ship. Send them to Hailheim. For me. Ride with the winged women, friend. I will handle this Grendel, whatever manner of monster it may be. Wait, warrior. I were to... To not scare the demon off when it returns. We'll wait up here for it to show itself again. Let your rest, warrior. I will stand vigil with prayer. Yeah, something's... Let's move along now, shall we? We'll fail that. Be still. Something stirs. Beast! Today you die! No kill! Play! I play! It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. 
hurts me, mother. Play. Grendel only want to play. You make Grendel hurt. Mama, I want to go home. By all that is holy and bright, what manner of monster is that thing? Not a monster, but a man. Strange to behold, but this Grendel is, was, a man. did it come from? All men have mothers. This one called out for his in the end. And all of us, even the most hideous, have souls. O oh Lord, forgive this man his sins, and grant unto him your grace and everlasting love. Mold everywhere. Stay here, Wolfhilda. I'll follow this trail. upon them. Let all rest in peace. Grendel must have tracked this mold here. But from where? source of the mold must be near. into this pit. Speaks of her child, Grendel. A cruel fate the gods have woven. <laughs> 